Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. We come thank you today. Thank you, Father. Yes. We come thank you today, Father, for another yes. chance to say yes. amen today, Father. We could have been dead, Father. We could have been in the hospital. We could have yes. been in another yes. place, Father. But you brought us here today for a reason. Today, Father, we're going to say thank you. 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 Thank
giving honor to God for our pastors, new pastors, ministers, and everyone present. Our pastors, and I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall please you with knowledge and understanding. Yeah. Thank you for thank you for giving us God's word. Thank you for your prayer. Yeah. Uncle Copper, thank you for your support. Thank you for listening. Thank you for always checking on me. Thank you for all our talks. Thank you for being a great example of a life of faith. Amen. 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 Amen.
do this in time. Our church has an offering, a love gift for you on this appreciation day. And I don't have it with me today. So I want to say publicly, we're going to have that in a few days. Hopefully it will have some interest <laughs> uh, so that it will be sweeter than it would have been had you gotten it today. I'm going to say publicly because I already know what it is. It's $250 we have for you. Now, I'm saying it publicly, so if you don't get that, you can come back publicly and say they did not. <laughs> so I just want to say that we want, we're glad to be here and bless you on this special. Amen. Thank you guys for uh, inviting us. Uh, thank you, Wade. Congratulations on your 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 your, 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 your pastor. Um, we don't have a pastor right now, so I'm, I'm representing our church, Mount Sinai. Amen. Thank you guys for inviting us. The food was nice. I really love this guy. This guy is a preacher, teacher. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm here for you.
of my preaching partner, I mean my preaching partner, Pastor Robert Harrison. Uh, I tried on different occasions. I said, Pastor, you just do it today. I'll sit down and listen. Uh, they know you can preach, and uh, they may not be so sure about me. <laughs> but he, 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 he keeps pushing me over there, but I thank God for him. I do. He is, he is God's special gift to me. And I'm not the only one in this life that will say that. I thank God for him. Thank you so much to the members of New Hope Church who are in the room. You've seen our praise team. Would you just raise your hand or stand and just... Let uh, Pastor Wade know we're here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, to the greatest usher I know, uh, Sherman Thompson. Yes. Amen. Thank you so much. And to all of you, my brothers and sisters, and to the Unity Church, it's a great day to be here. I think Sister uh, Demon is in the room. I want to say thank God for you. I mean, every time I come, you take me back. You do. I do. Mean, What is that serious music trying to get gospel music these days? And I mean, just a bunch of garbage come on the radio and just get gospel. Can't even listen. I said, what happened to the music Amen. that touched our hearts? So, Sister Bing, thank you. I, I mean that today. And, and then let me say finally to that gorgeous, gorgeous creature that's sitting toward the rear of the room who happened to be the love of my life. My wife, she's gonna stand up and let them see how beautiful you are. They don't take the hands off of you for the time. Listen, I can hear you all day. Thank you. I need your prayers. I do. I preached about 10 minutes too long for this morning, and so I uh, probably uh, preached all out, and I'll do my best to do a prayer. Is that all right? Amen. All right, I want to I wanna acknowledge again. Your program. I do. I want to acknowledge your scripture today. Uh, Pastor gave he, he gave me the keys and said you can preach from wherever you want to. Right. And so uh, I'll be I'll be asking you to find Hebrews chapter twelve, verse one and two. That's up uh, Hebrews chapter twelve, verse one and two. We're going to read the scripture and then we're going to pray. And then I'll give this little Easter speech and get right in my seat. Is that all right? Yes. Yes. All right. All right. Y'all come back to me. I know you had to be early. I'm able to. Yes. Yes. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to, uh, let me say it like this. This is the late Dr. Reverend Dr. Reverend Dr. Dale Patterson said it like this years ago. He said, I'll tell you what Elizabeth Taylor told us, uh, one of her husbands. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep you for long. <laughs> so let's try this back. Can you say that? That's what she said. Yeah. 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 Hebrews chapter 12 and verse 1. We'll read 1 and 2. Um, I'm reading from the English Standard Version. You may have King James or some other version. This will be the English Standard. It reads thus to me, therefore, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witness, let us lay aside every weight and sin which clings so closely, so easily besets us. Yes, yes. And let us run with patience endurance. The race that is set before us. Verse 2 says, looking unto Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. The author, the founder, and the finisher, the perfection yes. of our faith. Yes. Who for the joy that was set before him yes. endured the cross, yes. despising the shame, yes. and is sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Amen. I want to use as a tag for this text. Run as away with patience. Amen. 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 Grass withers and flowers but the word of the living God shall stand forever. 
God, how we again come humbly before your throne. Yes. Grateful and thankful for this man of God who you sustain and who you uphill. God, thank you for this church that loves him so. You brought us to this place to celebrate him, but really to turn thankfully again to you. Thank you for the word that encourages us to run with steadfast in you. Would you be with us in these moments as we hear again your truth? It is in the name of Jesus. We pray. Amen. 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 Run with patience or run with steadfast. In the, Amen. in the BC days, BC days would be before COVID. <laughs> Around 2016. Amen. Summer Olympics of 2016. I saw, I witnessed, and the world witnessed one of the greatest examples of running with stayed fast in the right. yes. The American women's 4 by 100 meter relay team were running. Uh -huh. right. Allison Felix, affectionately known as Chicken Legs, or for those in her family, they would call her Shug, or for those of the New Hope Church family, we would know her as Sister Melvina Jones' niece, right. Allison Felix, yeah. ran in the preliminary round with her teammates, but she dropped the baton right. after being interfered with by the Brazilian runner. Yeah. Baru, because she was interfered with, the committee allowed the United States team to run another time. Right. A rerun, they called it, yeah. all on the track by themselves. Yeah. However, this was the requirement. Right. The United States team had to run faster mm -hmm. than the slowest qualifier for the finals. Yeah. You know that they did that. As a matter of fact, in that preliminary round, they ran the fastest time of any competitor. Right. They went on to the finals and blistered the competition yeah. and won the gold medal. Right. That made Sugar, Chicken Legs, Allison Phoenix, right. the most decorated woman athlete since that Jamaican sprinter, Merlin Art. You know what gets lost in that wonderful story of success and accomplishment? Oh, yeah. In that preliminary race, the race where they dropped the baton, had they, it, had they contested that race, but had they not finished oh, yeah. the race, no protest large would have ever mattered had they not finished the race. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Allison Felix, chicken man. After having been interfered with, visibly disappointed, naturally windy, after running hard, she was focused enough amid the haze of the confusion to employ her teammate to finish the race. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I came today to encourage you to pass the race. Yeah. That no matter what you do, yeah. and no matter what comes, finish the rest. That might be a good encouragement for some of us in here. Yeah. And we can just nudge yeah. one another with an elbow and say, whatever you do, don't quit, but finish the rest. 
because God's word is better than my word. And the word of God says, compares itself to the grass that doesn't wither and the flower that will not fade. Yeah. God's word will help us yeah. to know how not to quit, yeah. you know, but to finish the race. Y'all will part with me. Yeah. God's word says in the book of Hebrew, Hebrew yeah. that book was written to a group of believers who were struggling yeah. with their faith. Yeah. They were Jewish Christians who were persecuted because of their conversion to the Lord Jesus Christ as Savior. Yeah. Yeah. And their commitment to the Christ resulted in them being kicked out of their families, yeah. Yeah. excommunicated yeah. from the known places of worship, yeah. right. and vanished and abhorred within their own community. Yeah. They had new life uh -huh. in their spiritual lives. They had come with the Savior. Yes, but the life they had known now was irrevocably lost to uh -huh. them. Now, in this time in history, the Roman emperor's apparatus of persecution had been unleashed, unleashed toward all who called themselves Christians. All right, all right. Underneath trem tremendous pressure, yeah. underneath excoriating suffering, yeah. all right. persons in the Christian church thought of just giving in. Right. And some thought of giving up. Right. And others thought of getting out. Yeah. Some just wanted to throw in the time yeah. and turn it back. Right. Have you ever been there? Yeah. Because of the pressures of the Christian life. Yeah. <laughs> the tendency, the temptation is to say, I'm just going to quit. Right. Sometimes in the Christian journey, you do get tired, don't you? Yeah. Are there any real people in the world? Yeah. They get gotten tired. They were exhausted. They were tired of worshiping. Tired of Christian education. Yeah, yeah. Tired of being confused. Uh -huh. Tired of being whispered about in society. Oh, yeah. Tired of the spiritual struggles. Tired yeah. of keeping the fire yeah. going. Yeah. <clears throat> they say some were even tired of Jesus himself. Right. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 12 tells them that they needed encouragement for their hands not to droop uh -huh. and their knees not to become dead. Yeah. Yeah. In Hebrews 10, 25, a word is given that ought to be said even in today's contemporary yeah. church. Right. To forsake not the assembly of yeah. yourselves. Yeah. 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 Like, they, like today, they had gotten tired of even coming to church. Right. And they were losing their confidence. Yeah. Some of them had become so tired, they were just going to walk off away right. Right. from the Christian faith. Well, the overall theme of the book of Hebrews focuses upon that thing, yeah. <clears throat> to not get tired, all right. and that Jesus is supreme yeah. in all Amen. that we face Amen. in life. Yeah. 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 The yeah. author W. Pitt said, the key word of Hebrews is the word better, mm -hmm. that Jesus is better yeah. than the prophets. Yeah. 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 It's better than me. Any Bible readers in the house? He's better than Moses. He's better than the old covenant. Yeah. Yeah. He's supreme over everything. Yeah. Instead of turning back, the Hebrew writer wanted to encourage them yeah. to keep on running. Yeah. I want to come and just let you know you don't need to quit either if you're thinking about it. We are challenged today to quit our yeah. yeah. Because the society is technologically driven and reality show shaped and, and we cast off in this world every ethical mooring yeah. that the Bible has declared. Yeah. Yeah. I want to tell you, we can't quit. No. Because your friend and my friend and, and our neighborhood and persons in our family are still hopelessly lost. Yeah. We can't quit. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. quit because we serve a savior that yeah. saves yeah. from the gutter yeah. yeah. to the other yeah. 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 We, can't quit. Yeah. we can't quit because we gotta keep speaking truth to power. Yeah. Yeah. But we gotta speak the truth in love in a society 
that has shown our God the door, we can't quit. Yeah. Yeah. We can't quit because yeah. society is a mess. The church community, instead of cooperating, we compete. Yeah. Instead of our fellowship being focused, we are fractured. Yeah. Then we need to keep pushing because we can't quit. Poet Edgar A. Guest said it like this, when things go wrong, as they sometimes will, yeah. when the road you're treading yeah. is all up yeah. here, yeah. when funds are low and debts are high, yeah. when you want to smile, but you have to sign. Yeah. The cares are pressing you down. The big risk. You yeah. 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 So whatever you do, yeah. don't quit. Yeah. So the good news today is that you and I can run the race that God has set before us. Yes. And we can win. Yeah. So long as we run with steadfast yeah. Can I just lift these three tiny tidbits that are tethered to the text for you and then get in my seat? About half of you said something, so the other half of that, I didn't take it long. I said I was going to keep it long. It's right in the text, in the two verses. This is the first encouragement that the Hebrew writer gives. They say, run motivated by the encouragers of the past. All right. Bible readers know that all of chapter 11 has listed the heroes and sheroes of the faith. Yeah, 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 and the Hebrew writer gets to chapter 12 and verse 1, and the first word that he uses is, is therefore, because yeah. of the heroes and sheroes yeah. of the faith. Yeah. Yeah. Therefore, uh -huh. let us yeah. run. Yeah. That's what we're saying. That's the verbal thrust. That's the, yeah. the, the scriptural weight of the passage. Right. We got to run. Yeah. And he tells us how we are to run. Let me remind you of it again. Remember he said, therefore having a great cloud of witnesses yeah. around us, yeah. lay aside every weight yeah. and the sin yeah. that so easily besets us and let us run very uh, with endurance the race that set before us. But we don't run looking at anything. We run looking unto Jesus. The author and finisher of our faith. Can I tell you about Jesus? Who know the joy that was set before him? Endured the cross and despised the shame. Sat down at the right hand right. of yeah. God. Yeah. Let me take this apart and then I promise I'll get yeah. out of the way. Right. Surrounded by so great a cloud yeah. of witness. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, some have interpreted that clause, that phrase to mean that those who have lived their lives are in the stands of life, so to speak. Yeah. In the heavenly coliseum then. Yeah. They are a great cloud yeah. of witnesses. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. And yeah. that those uh, in witnesses are the past encouragers yeah. of the faith. Come on. Uh, young boy, I had heard this preached as if Moses and Joshua and all the great yeah. men and women of the faith were in the stands yeah. uh, urging me yeah. to yeah. keep running. Yeah. Typically, the way it's happening down in San Francisco right now, the stands are filled with cowboy fans and 49er fans yeah. getting yeah. into the arena for yeah. their teams yeah. uh, to score or uh, stop the other team. Yeah. I heard it preached that way, but can I just tell you that is not what the biblical writers intend. <laughs> what they meant was that those past encouragers of the yeah. faith, those yeah. past men yeah. and women of yeah. the faith are there not to encourage me, uh, not to encourage, they are to encourage me by having lived the life that they've lived. Let me see that. Uh, uh, the great theologian and commentator Moffat said, it's not uh, what we, it's what we see in them yes, yes. and not 
what they see in us. Am, am I, is it, is it yeah, clear? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's not what they see in me. It's what yeah. I see in them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, 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 it's what I see. Uh, I feel like preaching. <laughs>
but, but the word and the weight is anything that will distract us. Sometimes these devices will distract Because he believed, but Abraham lied about who Sarah 
Remember, he said she was his sister when really she was his wife. The Bible says wrong to lie. They are not models of morality. They are mirrors of identity. Yeah. Uh huh. We say, well, what? Wrong with looking at King David, the Lord is my shepherd, David. But remember, uh, David had a little fall when he uh, should have been out before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Went out on his rooftop and saw Bathsheba bathing and executed all the powers of the government and kingly authority and rape culture. Come on now. Uh, got quiet. Yeah. Come on now. Took Bathsheba and his wife and sent Uriah to the front with the death one. That's the same David that said, uh, The Lord is my shepherd. I'm here to tell you, they are mirrors of identity. They're not models of Uriah. What about, what about Samson? What about Samson Strong? Uh, Samson. Well, Samson had a problem. He made one too many trips yeah. <laughs> to the lion's house. Somebody in the room said, what's wrong? Well, all he got was a haircut. Well, no, he got four. <laughs> they are not models of morality, no. But mirrors by which we can see ourselves. Because when I, when I, when I, at Samson, I, I see my own proclivities. Uh -huh. yeah. When maybe I made one too many trips. Uh -huh. That's quite a uh -huh. when, I, when, I, when I look at Abraham and I see how he lied, it reminds me, it shows me back myself of the time that I twisted the truth beyond everything. Thank you. 
Who won the gold medal in the 2016 Olympics? Come on, David Brown uh, and his coach Jerome Avery. Yeah. On Google, you can see David with his coach Jerome. Yeah. And they train for the Olympics. They are tethered together with a shoestring. Right. Remember, David is black. Yeah. His uh, trainer Jerome is not. Come on, come on. And they run on the tracks. They negotiate the curve. Uh, David cannot see the straightway. Yes. He cannot see the blocks. He cannot see the curve. But he needs he's a, a trainer. Yeah. Right. And he's tied and, and tethered to. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Against the morning, autumn morning, you can hear them as they run in synchronous. They are, they are feet, their legs churn yeah. at the same pace and rhythm. Yeah. Their arms churn at the same rhythmic pattern. Right. And then the David will moan with exertion and his coach will encourage him, come on, drive through this time. Right. No other blind athlete has run the hundred meters as fast as they can tell. But I want to tell you, it takes a lot of training yeah. and work yeah. in order for a blind sprinter yeah. to run where he cannot see. Yeah. But let me just stop. You and I are walking into an unknown future yeah. with traps and temptations and tribulations that we cannot see. But you've got to have somebody that you are tied in and tethered to that knows the way ahead. Can I recommend Jesus? He knows the demons and devils can I recommend Jesus? Because he knows exactly what it takes to become victorious and reach the finish line. Can I recommend Jesus? Because he
Come on, stand and bless you. She made it. Amen. She made it. She made it. And her sister Carol, keep sister Carol in prayer. You know, they've had several deaths in their family this year. Uh, Brother Charlie, uh, Mia, personality sister, um, sister Jackie O. And God is still, but God is still keeping them. Sister Carol, God bless you and thank you. Then I got one, two, three siblings of my of my parents' seven children, Ginger, Timon, and Brother Toby. Will you stand? Amen. The siblings. My siblings. We had my parents had seven children. And when I tell people they that looks like I was telling you about this morning. Um, when dad when it was time for family prayer between 8.15 and 8.30, we were on our knees praying. And that's before we went to church on a Sunday morning. My mother was a remarkable person. She had all seven of her kids ready to go to church at 8.30 on a Sunday morning. I know, I know some got one. Uh, I just, that one child, I can't get them out of there. But they needed to have come visit Phyllis Jean Dozier Wayne's house. And Tim and Wayne Sr.'s house, and God, you even got out of there, trust me. When I was a late older teenager, young man, no matter how late I got in on a Saturday night, I had better been down in family prayer and then getting ready to go to church to usher that morning. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying, amen. We had, we had, we had a family, oh yeah, daddy didn't play, amen. No, he did not play. To the members of unity, God bless you. To my, to our executives, our staff, and uh, people, which is Sister Emma Bradley, my sister Ginger, thank you. Our trustees, Mother Pearl Wells, Mother Wells' daughter has been ill, and she has not missed a beat in this church, including Saturday prayer, God bless her. My brother Tyman, Sister Cheryl, Sister Cheryl Phelps, and we've had, we lost two key members of our church that have moved out of state, but God has still seen fit to bless us and to keep us. And uh, Deshaun, would you come up? Would you come here? I'm just come here. Come here. She's had some ill days, and it's important that we pray for each other. That's why I'm right there. I need, I need somebody, my friend right there on the piano, would you come? I want you to stand with her. I just want to pray for her health today. Heavenly Father, dear God, in the name of Jesus, keep Kishana, dear Lord. Bless her. Baruch top Keep her, dear Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord, you know her, you made her, you know all about her, dear Lord. Lord, bless her. In the name of Jesus, touch her health, Heavenly Father. Heal her in the name of Jesus. Lord, confound her doctors in the name of Jesus. We pray today. Thank you for her, dear Lord. Thank you for her being a mother to her four children. Thank you for her being a dutiful daughter to her mother in the name of Jesus. Oh, in that sweet and holy name, amen. Amen. We have to pray for each other. Man, we have to always pray and not faint. My friends from New Hope, Dr. Gary Young is the pastor. You already met the First Lady. God bless you, First Lady. Amen. Amen. All well, the members of New Hope stand again. We'll raise your hand this morning. Thank you for coming out this evening. God bless you. I was better than Sister Renata. Glad my old friend we've known forever. God bless you. Thank you for coming out here to see me. Everybody that was on the program, Sister Joyce, thank you. Brother Alex, thank you. I appreciate it. Brother Toby, thank you for being the MC. Then I want to say again, thank you to our moderator. Yeah. And we've had a wonderful day today, but we go back to work tomorrow. And I mean by we go back to work, this morning I told the unity, I was making an alliteration, Pastor Young, I said, it's, it's getting ready to be noon before one o'clock. Somebody will try a fentanyl for the first time and die. I got a call at two o'clock this afternoon. Somebody tried it for the first time and died. Don't you see what's going, this wickedness in this world that's going on? I'm not even a wicked, a hyper wicked 
world. Things are happening. That was this afternoon. I said that this morning. And this said, call asked for prayer. So we need to be praying. Amen. On a multiplicity of levels. Reverend Harrison, brother, thank you. Good to see you again. I'm a very, very wise man. Amen. When I was a, a, a young, young pastor, he probably doesn't remember this. He uh, shared some things with me right about there. And Reverend Harrison, I haven't forgot about him. Trying to stay. Trying to stay. Try to stay, 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 and, and, and you know, God will bless you and keep you. Thank you. Then Tuesday, got to start preaching again for, for, for moderator Shaver for the Northern District Baptist Association Tuesday night. So I, I go back to work. Wednesday, we'll be here taking our YouTube. 1 o'clock p.m., anybody that's willing to come, you're welcome to come. We're going to share still in the Book of Romans, Pro Romanos, God's blessing. Um, Janelle, God bless you. Sister Janelle, good to see you. Amen. Good to see you. Amen. Thank you, dear. So good to see you. Um, Sister Tina, I didn't think you were coming back, but I'm glad to see you. Did you have chemo today? No chemo today? Okay. Well, I'm glad to see you. Amen. That's a blessing all in unto itself. Amen. Pastors, any um, any other announcements for everybody?
do what we're always available to hit our friendship uh, goals uh, really beyond these gatherings. And I'm thankful that we can come and share uh, with the community church and with you in this great occasion. Thank all of you. I think I was called Mount Sinai. I'm not called Mount Sinai. Please forgive me uh, for doing that. And anyone I did recognize, please forgive me uh, for doing that. It's all right to be human. Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know that. I thought I was going to go with that. The war, you know, halos and walk on war. Okay, all right, okay. I'm, I'm among friends. Okay, all right, all right, okay. All right, well, hey, let's stand. We're going to be dismissed. Thank all of you for your prayers. Thank you. So good. Um, hey, hey, hey. God, in power, majesty, and dominion, forever and ever, world without end.